Hi, my name is Caitlin Maxwell. I'm the Digital and Electronic Collections Librarian at Shoreline Community College Library. And this is a quick video on how you can add the uh, Shoreline Community College administrative account to your Pressbooks. So that way your Pressbooks titles, when you are ready to publish them, will show up in the Shoreline Community College Libraries or the Shoreline Community College's directory in Pressbooks. So to get started, we're gonna navigate to the Open Washington Pressbooks website. The URL for that is openwashington or openwa, openwa.pressbooks.pub, so openwashington.pressbooks.pub. And once you're at the Open Washington Pressbooks website, you can go ahead and sign in with your shoreline.edu uh, account. And I have another video on how you can set up your account if you need to review that. So for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, Shoreline's administrative account. So I'll go ahead and log in. And then this is your dashboard once you log in to your Pressbooks account. And from here, you can create a book, you can adapt a book, uh, but in order to add Shoreline as an administrator to your account, you have to be able to get to uh, manage users, which you can only do once you actually start a Pressbook. So you do have to have a Pressbook started, whether that's an adapted book from their Pressbooks directory, from the Pressbooks directory, or whether you're just creating a quick Pressbooks just to have a, a, a shell. Uh, to get to edit later. So once you actually have a press book started, uh, you should have something available under your catalog, which is under my catalog. And just to show you, this is the catalog. This includes materials that I've adapted from press books. This includes materials that your peers at Shoreline Community College have created. Um, and just to show you, when you look under each title, there is an option to visit the book, and there's also an option to visit admin and that's what you need in order to add users to your account. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Shoreline CC Faculty 2023 OER Institute account and I'm going to select visit admin and this gives you administrative access to this particular Pressbooks and this is where you can manage users. So this is where you can add Shoreline as an administrator to your account. So from here you can edit the book info, you can organize your book, you can change the theme and you can manage your users among other things. So for today, we're gonna click on manage users so that you can add Shoreline to your account. And um, you'll see that I've already added Shoreline to the account uh, and this is the administrative account anyway. Uh, but just to show you, what you would do is you would go to users and add new and that's what you would click on in order to add people to your account or add accounts to your account. And the at the administrative account email is library at shoreline.edu. So that's the email that we use for the administrative account in Pressbooks. And then you would want to add library at shoreline.edu as an administrator. And this will uh, allow your Pressbooks, once it's ready for publication, to show up in the Shoreline Community College Open Washington Pressbooks directory. So once you have library at shoreline.edu and you've selected administrator from the role dropdown, you can say add existing user. Since this user already exists on this particular book, it says that user is already a member of this site, but hopefully you would see that this member has been, uh, this account has been added as an administrator. And then I should be getting um, a pop-up to say that you have added uh, the library account as the administrative account to your Pressbooks. In addition to adding Shoreline as an administrator, you can also add your colleagues. If they, anyone who has a Pressbooks account, you should be able to add their email, their username. Um, and if you wanna collaborate, that's a great way to do it is just to add users to your Pressbooks. So that's another way that you can uh, use this uh, visit admin site to add users to your account. And that's basically it. So let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching this video.